So Stephanie and Amber are going to demonstrate how to take their blood tests. First of all, they're going to put a drop of water on the Elden card. So go ahead and do that. And this is going to activate the, uh, the serum on there. Okay, now we need to use the lancets to prick their finger to get a sample of blood. So first, clean your finger with the alcohol prep pads. <laughs> and Stephanie brought us in some lancets that I've never seen before, so hopefully she knows how to work them. Do you twist the top off to get the needle to be exposed? I guess you do. It. Yeah, I think it's in there. And you just All right, I'll try it. Now you probably wait. Oh, I was gonna say you might not want to use your index finger because it makes his finger sore, but it doesn't really matter. I usually like the ring or the middle finger, but. Ready? All right, go ahead. Let me get it close up. And squeeze the blood out a little bit. I'm a big baby, so. Okay. Amber, you want to try to do yours? Yeah. There you go. Okay, use your finger, other finger, to kind of squeeze it out. Now use the little sticks to transfer the blood onto your card. And then kind of swirl it around a little bit. I don't think you have enough blood there. No. Just massage the finger until more of it flows out a little bit. And remember not to mix the sticks in each of the wells. So you need almost like a little bit of a bubble on top of that stick. Like it'll look like a little bubble in the well. There, that looks a little better, Stephanie. Though you might want to use gravity to your advantage, like flip your hand over so it drips down. There you go. That looks better. So go ahead and put that on there. And get a swirl, around. swirl around. And then get a sample using the other sticks for the other spots. Good. You kind of have to move fast, otherwise your blood starts to coagulate. So. <laughs> Hopefully you know what coagulate means. Thicken or yes. the fibrogen breaks down to the fibrin and it starts to bond. Right? Very good. Remember, what you need to do now is pick up the card and you want to sort of rotate it back and forth to keep the blood from like coagulating on its own. You want a reaction to occur with the antibodies on the card. So just tilt it back and forth. Slowly, just kind of let it roll. All right, so you, How did she get so yeah, you're swirling. That, just let it kind of do that and do that for a few minutes. And you might start to th see it thicken or, or clump on one of the uh, circles, which would indicate that that's what your blood type is. I think there's so I can see on yours, I can see clumping on the A right away. Mm -hmm.
something on the B. And then where it says anti D, that's for your RH factor. If it clumps there, that means you're positive. Oh yeah, definitely clumping in the, uh, the A zone. So Stephanie, what's your blood type? Well, they told me it was O negative, so. But you've got clumping on the A. So that would be a good example of getting a false positive, which could be a contamination from the other serums. Or you just didn't have enough blood on there. Because I think it is trying to... I mean, it looks you were told like you were O positive? O negative. If you're O negative, you won't get any clumping anywhere. But that A is definitely was clumped. But you might have accidentally contaminated with one of your other sticks. So let's look at yours. What blood type are you? Are you positive? Yeah, it doesn't really look like the anti-D is clumping. It just looks like it's coagulating to me. Yeah, but your blood dries anyway, so that just looks like normal drying and coagulation. But notice how it's all dotty in the B zone, which makes me think it's B. Have you ever had your blood tested professionally? So that's sometimes how you have, and that's why you know you're O. But that's definitely a false positive then. That's good. We got the procedure done. Look at that. And now we want to give you the band-aids. And you want to get another alcohol pad for the uh, the first aid part. Should we have pretended to like share needles or something? No. In fact, let's show the safety. We want to put any sharps. In the biohazard container. Now, what do you want me to do? Just throw these in the Just trash? Just throw the whole thing away in the biohazard container. They don't fit. They don't fit. Do you want me to try? Way, way to get, like, needles that don't fit in my container. There we go. And we can put the sticks in there, too. I that card suggests A negative, but she's been told that she's O negative. So. You you should be O. I always told them I was adopted. Maybe this. Oh my God. But there's not a lot of blood on that, so yeah. I don't know. Guys, no, I'm just going to get it to Maybe your parents are wrong about what blood type they are. Maybe I need to have a conversation about blood. Do you want to take a kid home and test their blood, too? Yeah. Mom's a nurse. I bet you she has kids, too. She might have the better ones that they get from the hospital. Which, oddly enough, the hospital kits look exactly the same. Attention all NHS members. Oh, that's the fourth one? Yeah. Cool. Let's try this off. 